Hello and welcome to this TechnicForce tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss GDPR settings in Cloud Funnels. If you're marketing to residents of the European Union, it's important that your materials are GDPR compliant. GDPR is the General Data Protection Regulations, designed to protect users' data. Cloud Funnels is completely GDPR compliant. To access the GDPR settings, go to the sidebar and select GDPR settings. The GDPR settings page is divided into GDPR settings and cookie consents and data requests. First, we'll take a look at the cookie consent setting. The cookie consent is the pop-up bubble that appears on web pages when you arrive for the first time, letting visitors know that you'll be collecting cookies on their activities. You can customize the text of the message, or you can use the default text that comes with Cloud Funnels. The cookie notice comes with a full text editor, so you can adjust this any way you like. You can also format the text color, background color, box position. You can specify the text that appears in the Accept button, as well as the text that appears in the Do Not Accept button. And if a user clicks on Accept, then they won't be shown the cookie the next time they visit your site. If they click on Do Not Accept, they'll be sent to the redirection URL that you specify. You can use something generic like Google, or something more specific like your homepage, where cookies will not be collected. You can also specify the font size, and the distance from the border. If you have any custom CSS that you'd like to add, you can include that as well. To show you what the cookie consent bubble looks like, let's go to Funnels and Sites, and let's open one of our test funnels, and we'll go to the registration page here, and go to Page Settings, and here you can see that the display GDPR cookie notice has already been activated, but we can just turn this slider on if it's not, and then make sure we go down and save settings. Now we can copy this page URL, open a new browser tab, and visit this page. And here we can see the cookie consent bubble. So the contrast to colors is a little difficult to read, so let's go and make a few changes to this. We'll change the text color to black, and we'll change the background color to white, and we'll set the box position to bottom left, and we'll set the accept text to caps OK. And we'll change the do not accept to do not accept. And we will redirect this to the Technic Force homepage. We'll leave the font size as is, but we'll change the distance to border to zero. Now we'll scroll down to the bottom of this page and we'll save those settings. Okay, now we'll go back to our registration page here, and we will refresh the page. And here we can see our bubble has moved to the other side. The background color and text has changed colors, as well as the text of our buttons. And if we click OK, it'll clear the bubble and will not display the next time the visitor comes to this page. And if we click Do Not Accept, It redirects us to the Technic Force homepage. So let's go back to Cloud Funnels and we'll take a look at the next features. So we'll scroll down and look at the data requests setup. So here we have check marks to allow us to get notification for data access and rectification requests and send email during confirmation. So here we'll insert our own email address so that we can receive these notifications for requests. The data access page URL, we can click to copy this, and if we visit this in a new tab, we'll see that this is the request page that visitors can use to request their data. So let's do a test here. So we'll fill out our user data and then submit our request. Now we'll head back to Cloud Funnels. We'll come back to that data request in just a moment. But next, let's take a look at setting up the confirmation messages. There are two types of data requests that users can make, 
data access, or data rectification. In either case, we're going to send them an email with their data. So in this case, we can customize the email for their data access, and in this case, we can customize the email for their data rectification confirmation. We can enter our own custom email text if we want to, or we can just use the default text. And again, the text editor is fully featured for formatting. For these emails, an important piece of short code that you're going to want to remember is this one here, curly brackets, GDPR underscore data. In the email that the user receives, this short code will be replaced by their actual user data. So we can go ahead and make any changes that are necessary, and then scroll to the bottom and click Save Settings. Now getting back to that user's data request, if we scroll down, you'll recall that we set a check mark here to get a notification for any data access requests. So now if we go to our email here, we will see that we have by now received an email letting us know that we've received a request for data access. When we receive this notification, we know that it's time to go to Cloud Funnels, and we can go to the second tab of the GDPR settings, Cookie Consents and Data Requests. Here on this tab, we can see a table of all the cookie consent records that we've received. And this shows all the times that our cookie consent was either accepted or did not accept. So in this case here, because we clicked the Do Not Accept button that redirected us to the Technic Force homepage, we can see that status here, that this cookie consent visitor did not accept. Down below, we'll see the data access and rectification requests. Here, we can see the user tutorial that requested data. This is the data request which is currently pending. Here we can see the request detail, if there was any message that they added to the request. And under status, we can see that if they were logged in on a membership site, and we can see the URL that referred them to the data request page. So as an example, let's log in to this particular funnel. And then from our membership board, we can click on the GDPR data request, and this is the same URL that we saw in the GDPR settings here, data request page URL, this one here. So we can see that this is hyperlinked here on this button. So when we click on this, it takes us to the request for data page, and we can request data. And we just put a message here and then submit our request. And now when we go back to our GDPR page within Cloud Funnels, we look at the Data Requests tab. We can scroll down and we can see this new data request, Request for Data Access from Tutorial, the email. Here we can see the request detail was Tutorial Test Please. And we can see that this user was logged in and they are logged into this funnel page, membership page. So we know where they requested the data access from. And if we look in the actions column, we can see the yellow check mark letting us know that this is a pending request. If we see a green double check mark, we know that it has been processed. So in order to process this request, all we have to do is just click the yellow check mark. Cloud Funnels has now sent an email to the user. Now it's important that you have your SMTPs properly set up that Cloud Funnels is able to send. So if you haven't already set up an SMTP, you can do so from SMTPs and set up an SMTP record so that Cloud Funnels is able to send emails. Once you do that, another important step is to go to Settings. And from the Settings page, you can select the default SMTP. Of all the SMTP records that you set up, this is the one that Cloud Funnels will use for general mailing, including the GDPR settings. So let's go back to the Data Requests tab, and we'll scroll down, and we'll see that this request has been marked as complete. So let's go to the email account, and we'll see here is the email that's been received by the user, including their data which they requested. And notice that this is the section here all this highlighted text is what replaced the short code for GDPR data. 
and we'll just go back to Cloud Funnels to the template and we'll see that this was the your data GDPR data and here's your data with the actual GDPR data. Now we also have access to this data from within Cloud Funnels. We can just go back to the data access tab and here under the actions button we can choose to download that file and this downloads it as a JSON file And we can open that up and we'll see the user's data within. Now, one more important part of GDPR is terms and conditions and privacy pages. So let's go back to the GDPR settings tab. And down at the very bottom, we see a notice that lets us know that we have the option of setting up a terms and conditions and privacy policy as a new page categorized as no category, or we can create a single project for both pages. And we also have the option to use CloudFunnels templates for terms and conditions and privacy policy. So let's see how that works. Let's go back to our membership test funnel. And we'll go to edit. Now here we can see the various pages that we have for our funnel, registration, login, membership, and forgot password. So what we'll do now is we'll create a new page and we'll call this one privacy. And we'll add that page. Now what we can do is select the privacy page and then go to page settings. And here under page category, we can specify the type of template that we want to use, in this case, privacy policy. We'll save our settings. And though it says no template was found, we can just ignore this notification and instead go back to the page and choose a template. And now we'll see that in fact, a privacy policy template has been generated and we can either select it or preview it. And here's the Cloud Funnels privacy policy template. And you can just update this with your own company information and other specifics. And it has everything you require to be GDPR compliant. Now let's go back to our funnel. We'll go ahead and select this privacy policy. And we'll see that our preview has been updated with the privacy policy template. Now we can go to new page and this time we'll call it terms and conditions. And we'll add this new page. Now we'll select our terms and conditions page and we'll go to page settings. And here for page category, we'll select terms and conditions and save our settings. And again, we can ignore this error about no template and just go back select terms and conditions and now we can choose a template and we'll see in fact that a terms and conditions page has been generated and here we can preview it and again we can update this template with our own company and specifics and it has all the information that we require to be fully gdpr compliant so we'll go back to membership and select the template and that pretty much covers the gdpr settings and cloud funnels i hope you found this tutorial useful thanks very much for watching